I had a dream that was a tea bag, yeah? And, um... <laughs> I know. Put your seatbelt on, because it's going a bit weird from now on, yeah? <laughs> that was what I call the preamble. This is where it starts to go weird. <laughs> had a dream that I was a tea bag, yeah? And basically, uh, I wasn't like an English breakfast tea bag at the front of the cupboard, yeah? I was in the Herbal Gang, yeah? I was one of the Herbal Boys, yeah? <laughs> What a gang we were. God damn herbal boys. We were loose out of our packets mucking about in the shadows. <laughs> there was me, there was chamomile. He had narcolepsy. <laughs> there was Monty Fresh. He was quite lascivious. He used to bomb the other tea bags. <laughs> what a character. There was Earl and Lady Grey. They owned the cupboard and the kitchen and the land that it was built on. Nice people. And it was green. He thought he was a samurai. He had a little sugar spoon. I am green! <laughs> and there was fennel. He smelled a bit weird. I didn't really talk to him. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of tea bag I was. I was definitely herbal, yeah? But I'd been in the cupboard since the 80s. I'd lost my smell, yeah? I used to go in the corner and try and smell myself. What am I? What am I? I had no idea. I could have been lemon and ginger. Put it this way, I'd never had a cold. <laughs> Fennel used to come in and go, Oh, you've got no aroma. I'd go, shut up, Fennel. <laughs> but this is how it works, right? I, had, I know, because I had a dream that was a tea bag. You're all in the cupboard like that, and you're waiting, waiting for the cupboard door to open, and then you're waiting to be selected and taken to tea paradise or tea heaven, yeah? So you're all like that. And every now and then, the cupboard door opens. <laughs> It's quite a religious experience. <laughs> the shaft of light comes in and just ricochets off your metallic nipples. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It makes no sense. You erase that from your mind. <laughs> and you all edge forward and go, please pick me, pick me. And then the hands of God come in to make their selection, yeah? It was actually Diego Maradona's kitchen, yes? It was the hands of God. <laughs> These big chunky brown fingers, <laughs> like powerful snags, yeah? <laughs> Did a conversion for you people. <laughs> But always he would pick an English breakfast tea bag, yeah, and then shut the cupboard door, bang. And we'd be like, oh my God, me and the Herbal Boys, we're never going to get picked. It's unbelievable. I'd go, what about me? I haven't even got any aroma. But I did get picked, yeah? Next day, the door opened again. Maradona's daughter came in. Smaller hands, more mischievous, yeah? Like chipolatas. <laughs> about 13, yeah? <laughs> And I thought, wow, what does she wear? You know, 13 year olds have got no interest in herbal tea, yeah? But she reached over the English breakfast tea bags and picked me. I didn't know what was going on. But, right, this is what was happening. She was doing a pirate project at school. She'd made a treasure map, yeah? And her teacher had said to her, if you want to make that look a little bit more authentic and old, yeah? Dip a tea bag in cold water, brown the edges off nicely. Anyone ever done that? That's enough people to continue the bit. <laughs> That's all the over 40 year olds. <laughs> That's what you lot wanted to do instead of coming here tonight. <laughs> she got a top mark, yeah? And she just gently laid me down on the training board. But because she put me in cold water, I wasn't dead, yeah? And I was sort of lying there. I was quite disgusting and sort of mutilated and sort of baggy and swollen. My gusset was hanging down. One of my eyes was loose and I was sort of wandering around like the elephant man teabag. Hello. Hello, quite disgusting, but quite polite. Hello there, hello. Does anybody need anything from the post office? Hello. <laughs> I'm 41. <laughs> hello, and it was when I was the Elephant Man teabag that I saw what happened to, basically to other teabags, yeah? Maradona stomped in, yeah? Opened the cupboard. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Picked out an English breakfast teabag, yeah? And I was watching from the draining board. Put it in boiling hot water, not cold water. Ah! Only tea bags can hear other tea bags scream, yeah? It's like a dog whistle, yeah? Remember that next time you make tea. Ah! And he gets a spoon out and starts squeezing it against the side. Oh, I can feel it strong. Oh, oh, oh. I'm having builders tea. That's how he speaks now. He's really gone downhill since the football stopped. Slams it down on the draining board, yeah? And then boom, kicks it into the sink. It was like Dante's Inferno, the four levels of hell, the boiling, the squeeze down, the draining board, the sink. Could not believe my elephant man eyes, yeah? So at this point, I was like a beanbag. I was huge. I went over to see what was going on in the sink. Still quite polite. Hello. The sink was a horror show. It was like a Chapman Brothers installation, yeah? 
tea bags in different states of mutilation. There was one at the back, sort of frozen in time, pointing like that. Another one with a butter knife stuck to its leg, sort of dragging it around like a prosthetic limb, <laughs> clanking about. <coughs> one had its stomach hacked out and all the leaves were spelling out the words, help me, <laughs> in a strange brown calligraphy. I thought, no way, this is outrageous. I've got to get back up to the cupboard and, wor and warn the herbal boys, yeah? We can't go through this, it's horrible. But I was on draining board level, yeah? They were up in the cupboard, it was miles away. I had to fashion a ladder out of wholemeal spaghetti, yeah? <laughs> With fusilli rungs. <laughs> and I went up like that. <laughs> this is not a job, is it? I went up like that. <laughs> I opened the cupboard, and Fennel came over and went, Oh, look at you, you're disgusting. And I went, Yes, I've been used to make a pirate map and look more authentic. <laughs> there are those post stamps that you wanted. <laughs> There's no such thing as post stamps. I fucked that joke up. In my head, I was going to say postcards, and then I, tr I opted for stamps. I've invented post stamps. <laughs> it's being filmed, I'll just do it again. <laughs> There are, the <laughs> <laughs> I'll start again from the bottom of the game. <laughs> there are those stamps you wanted. <laughs> anyway, I said to the other guys, we are not going to tea heaven. If anything, we're going to tea hell. The s boiling, the squeezing, the slam down, the sink. And, the, and we all sat there and went, why though? I can't believe Dante's Inferno. What, we've never sinned? Why? Why? And we just couldn't work out what we'd done. And then we thought about it, yeah? Maybe we had sinned, yeah? I was basically envious of the English breakfast tea bags, always getting picked first. My sin was envy. <laughs> Chamomile, always asleep. Sloth. <laughs> Monty Fresh, bumming the other tea bags. <laughs> Sodomy. Green, envy again. <laughs> Not really worked that one out. <laughs> Someone said, yeah, all right, we've sinned. What about, you know, what about Fennel? He's never sinned. And I went, come on, Fennel's racist. <laughs> you heard what he said about those coffee beans. <laughs> Explain yourself, Fennel. Fennel went, all I'm saying is I remember a day when tea bags were square, yeah? Then these round geezers came in. I didn't mind them because they mixed in a little bit. But these pyramid people taking our wives, taking our jobs, it's not on. All right, Fennel. There's no need to bring shape into this. You're a shapist. I said, I'm sick of this. The hierarchy, the selection process, the shapism. This has got to stop. We're never going to escape. We should all be one. We're tea bags. We should unite all our textures and flavors and colors. We should just make one universal tea. It will be beautiful. And so the Green got his samurai little spoon sugar out and he just slashed all our bellies. We started pulling our leaves out. It was beautiful. And we were dancing around and mixing our leaves and creating a multicolored blizzard from all the textures and flavors. It was beautiful. And every now and then it would clear and I'd get off with someone else. It was like Glastonbury. <laughs> We did that for hours until I was just weak. I was an empty bag, like a little satchel made of cobwebs. <laughs> and that's where I woke up, yeah? Do you remember? It was a dream. <laughs> I know, it's a long joke. <laughs> and I got up, right? I was a bit groggy. It was a fitful night's sleep. And I went to the cupboard, yeah? And this is the true bit, Melvin, yeah? I opened the cupboard door. <laughs> there was a big pile of universal tea leaves in the cupboard with empty bags around the bottom. And I made a cup of tea from it. It was fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs>